Good evening or good afternoon or good morning, whichever it is for you. I want to show you briefly how to count words for your New Yorker, Scientific American, Harper's or Atlantic magazine article for the Precy assignment. So up here I have a sample uh, page and this will show you how to approximate um, a word count. So what I've done here is, based on the column width, I counted uh, about three or four um, lines and not counting a and or the, not counting a and or the in the words. I counted up the average number of words per line, came up with about five. Now, if you were to count three to four lines here, you would have some that have six, some that have seven, but most not counting a and or the, or not counting widows here, like the December that I'm pointing at, have five words. So let's say this is about five words per row. Now, if your column were a little bit wider, it would have six or seven words per row. And some of them may have different numbers of words per row, depending on varying widths. This particular one, if I, let's say I count from filibustered before it could reach the, now that is one, not counting the the, two, three, four, five. One, two, I'm up here now, one, two, three, four, five, six, but those are relatively short. One, 59 being one word, two, three, four, five. So roughly, five words per row times 20 lines in this first column. There's 20 lines in this first column equals 100 words in the first column. Column two then has the same number of um, rows, um, 20, so five approximately, since it's the same width of column, approximately five words per row um, equals 100 words. Column three on this particular page is much uh, longer. It takes up the entire uh, page length. So I counted 59 rows times, since the width of com column is about the same width, times five words average per row equals 295 words. Adding up each column then, 100 plus 100 uh, plus a 295 equals a total of approximately 495 words on this particular page. And then of course you would do that for each subsequent page to short up the process of uh, counting the number of words in the magazine article without having to without having to count each individual word. Now please note that uh, when you do this in Google Docs and you um, go to tools and you do a word count, um, you'll need to highlight um, your your um, text so it counts the correct number of words that will count a and or the um, and that's and that's okay in this particular instance but when you're counting um, you don't really need to think about counting a and or the now this is an approximated word count you could also um, go ahead and just count each word individually if you want to take that sort of time